Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noding. In this video, I'm going to share um, one of the these uh, techniques that I learned um, from the uh, Blender Freestyle. Um, I'm gonna show you like a bit of history first. Uh, basically, um, I'm gonna show you how we can create like a kind of like a hand writing jibbers. If I'm drawing with a grease pencil, real quick, it's a um, Let's say you are doing anime or kind of cartoon uh, animation and you want to do kind of scribble on a paper like this. You can actually do that um, using the freestyle um, freestyle rendering that uh, Blender actually offered to you. I thought this is kind of neat and I, I kind of want to recreate that using spare chalk in this case. Uh, we can probably use animation nodes as well. It's actually, um, the concept is really, really simple, but um, there's a few techniques that uh, maybe you, you you didn't know. So originally I got this, uh, I, uh, I understand about this from, what is his name? Uh, he's the NPR guy, he's, very, uh, he's known as S-A-G-E, Sage. Um, anyway, he told me that if we, um, first of all, I'll, I'll do a little bit of um, freestyle rendering first. I will use uh, this grid, actually. So imagine this is a paper, and then I'm gonna scale it a little bit. So imagine this is a piece of paper, and you want to render it out with a with an outline because um, with non photorealistic rendering or NPR rendering uh, that Blender offers in a in something called freestyle, um, you basically need to deal with a kind of you try to emulate cartoony shading and a uh, kind of cartoony edges you kind of want to draw something that uh, I just did with using grease pencil um, and if you have a, a piece of paper created using mesh you either use a texture to emulate all the, the scribble writing or or you could uh, actually use this technique okay I'll show you it real quick um, okay, let's see. I'll just write this uh, free style scribble. This is Fairchop tutorial SV. Save it. But this is a little bit of background how I get to this uh, idea. Um, so, freestyle. We have freestyle rendering option right here. And currently, it works with a uh, Blender render, and cycles can do it as well up to a certain extent. But I'm gonna use just Blender render. If I turn on the freestyle here in the render options, freestyle, and then try to do a render, whether it's preview or final render, um, I'm just gonna use preview. See what we get is uh, this shaded flat um, grid with the uh, edges around it if I turn on uh, if I make this a uh, paper shader just full white and make it shadeless for example and then render it again so it's just like a piece of paper but you can see the edges here um, that's a uh, that's like the default option of the freestyle it's basically will it will generate outline and outline is super important in freestyle and what I want to show to you is if we go to edit mode and then we select uh, edge selection and we make some mark um, let's quickly make a bunch of mark like that oops we don't want a vertical we don't want vertical lines just a bunch of line like that and then if we mark it, I tap spacebar and mark, mark, add, uh, wait a minute, which one is it? Mark freestyle edge. It's gonna have this kind of mark that freestyle, freestyle will understand. If I try to render again, still we don't, we're not getting anything because um, there is this option that I need to turn on. I just I just leave the preview rendering running in the background and then I'll switch to 
this panel and then we can see there's a lot of option for freestyle I'll make this bigger if I turn on the edge mark here now we can see the the lines on the edge so that's a that's a quick way you can achieve that kind of uh, kind of like scribble handwriting but currently it's a really really kind of boring only like lines on a piece of paper um, the next interesting thing I'm not gonna talk too much about freestyle but um, just showing to you that freestyle has this uh, modifier and the modifier can actually modify the the rendered um, the, the rendered outline or edges um, the one that I'm interested in is um, so we have thickness um, obviously thickness is a thickness we can make it thicker or uh, less thick but you can also modify it to make it more like calligraphy or like noise play around with all these but uh, the one I'm interested in is the geometry the geometry has pearly noise 1D, 2D, and 3D, which is the spatial noise. If I try the 2D, you can see the line here, the freestyle lines. It's the it's line being disturbed by the noise, and you can play around with the frequency, all that. And then what's even more interesting is the is the 3D one, the spatial noise. If we increase the spatial noise uh, really high you can see that it's giving like a much more interesting handwriting kind of effects and you can actually resemble it more um, with the sampling here by default it's 10 if we make it smaller and even smaller now you can see it's a uh, it's starting to look like um like a real handwriting a sort of I mean it's not like but it's, it has kind of like a smear and like a thickness in and out um, that's kind of thing this is kind of effects I want to emulate using Spreadshop um, but I will do the basic one today I'm gonna show it to you real quick so I'm gonna stop the rendering I'm gonna turn off freestyle the free freestyle thing is really interesting actually if you if you know and understand the freestyle rendering really well you you can avoid like a gotcha like a sometimes freestyle sometimes freestyle uh, make the rendering becomes really really slow you need to kind of adjust the settings until it's very efficient for what you're doing and freestyle has a lot of uh, interesting kind of gotcha that you also need to tweak to make it looks more like a like a real hand-drawn animations so yeah um, Grease pencil is much simpler. I think sometimes hand drawing is like the most uh, most freeing, but also the most tedious. So it's kind of I try to find a balance always. Anyway, delete grease pencil, delete this guy, and turn off. Let's turn off freestyle. Okay, it's off already. Let's recreate something like that using Spreadshop. Um, okay, the ba the basic ingredients, the basic. Um, trick here is I want to create a line but this line shouldn't be just line like that it's gonna be kind of boring the line needs to be you know it's a bit like it's freestyle it's not it's not like a, it's not a perfect line okay it needs to be freestyle like hand drawn and then the line need to also kind of be separated like a, like words in the sentence um, it's actually similar to the Morse code, but that's a that's another kind of example. It's a this is kind of look that we want to start with. Um, let's delete Chris pencil and then switch to Spreadshop. Okay, obviously we can start with line. Okay, okay, and uh, uh, Blender just crashes. I will. I will start again. Um, sometimes it does that. Maybe it's my Mac because I'm using a better, better version of the Mac OS. I don't know. Something's clashing in the system. Uh, system sometimes.
take a few seconds, break. Cool, okay, we have we are back. Save compositing new new okay. Obviously, like I said, we can start with line and fewer draw. So we have this line uh, being created and we can adjust the line it's up to you whether you want to have like multiple vertices for a single line or you just have two vertices and then make the line varies in the distance you can actually just use line um, to generate those random lines um, if we use uh, the matrix in and we actually kind of duplicating the lines going down using another line currently it's just duplicating to the in the x-axis we need to change it um, factor out factor in so instead of x I want to plug into the, the z oops not the z actually um, it's the y so now the lines kind of going up and you can make it goes down like that negative value and then that's a one way you 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 probably can create the the lines of uh, like a handwriting on a paper um, instead of line you can of course use the float range um, float range float and then but you need to make sure you're using vector in and you want to duplicate the lines down in the y so we plug this to y and we have the same thing more or less we can adjust the stepping and the count you can randomize the stepping and you can randomize the you can at this point you can actually randomize the step of this line um, but we're not gonna do that there's a instead of using lines we can actually um, kind of have like a shortcut using a um, plane so by default plane will create um, of course like a grid like a grid plane nothing special about that and we can just use the edges and we have this but what's uh, really cool about Sparechalk is that it understands the U and the V from from uh, nodes like plane, cylinder, um, maybe sphere it understands the, and you can separate it you can separate the line and you can get this line if you, have, if you wanna if you want more control, you can use the UV connection. So if you if you use this UV connections and play with the U or the UV, of course you're getting this now. If you if you if your handwriting is like uh, the Japanese or Chinese in the old times, it's going down. I think in Arabic it goes from goes down and uh, it's go from right to left. So all kind of possibilities here. Anyhow, now we have our lines, okay, like just for scribbles. We, we still need to make it more random because currently it's too even. It's too even, too boring. Um, we can make it more interesting. Um, let's see. Uh, the other day I did this a couple of times just to test it and I always came up with different results. Um, I will try with randomize input vertices. Sorry about my nose, it's the hay fever. Um, we can randomize the X. So the handwriting cannot be perfect, so you can random kind of randomize it. Make sure it's not overlapping. Just slightly, you know. Even in the in the Y if you want. It's currently actually it's making a 
polygon, we want the edges. Okay, so slightly more, slight little bit of random randomness. We don't need to randomize in the Z, just the X and the Y. You can randomize the seed until you like. Uh, you find the one that you like. Um, I guess we can start with this. The next thing I will, I want to do is kind of to break the lines so that they're they're more like words in the sentence. Um, at you can, for example, find line that is shortest and then just just delete it. You can do that with Spark Shop. You know, just find the shortest length and delete it. You can uh, use uh, masking for that. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just. I think I will just uh, randomly masking the the edges of these lines. So currently we only have these, and we we want to use list masking, and we just gotta mask the edges. Okay, just use a list mask. List mask out, and now I'm actually masking the the edges of the line. Uh, the edges of the lines and make sure I'm plugging the correct data so by default masking the edges will give us something like this it's actually um, pretty interesting it's masking every every other edges kind of like a it's because by default this uh, this mask is actually if I use the stethoscope and look at the data it's like zero one zero one one zero one zero one zero so whenever it's one whenever the mask is one in the list of edges it's gonna give us the edges if it's zero it's gonna delete the edges so that's um, something we can use uh, and plug into the mask we, we can create our own numbers okay random number uh, vector noise node we can use and I will use the scalar option because we want this a uh, single value, not a three value. The type is gonna be one of these. I will try just the Voronoi. I will use the stethoscope real quick and then look at the data, the data output. The vertices I will get the vertices from. Um, from either from the vertices or from the data itself I'll just use vertices, I just plug in random stuff so we get this value between 0 and 1 um, we can smooth it using math and then kind of round up the value now we're getting kind of like a rounded value from for noise, uh, noise, and we have this, and we can plug into the mask. There you go. So we get something like that. Fairly interesting. Um, if you want to randomize the Voronoi, you can add a math here, and then use a factor in. Please don't crash. Maybe I did it too fast sometimes. Whenever I use this kind of a uh, spotlight thing, um, there you go. The Voronoi. Oops! Don't use cross product. Use uh, add. Yep. Just randomize until you get the one you like. Um, okay, we are almost there actually. Um, now we can see that we have some stray vertices. You can you can uh, remove the stray vertices. Um, I forgot what's the note for it. Um, let's just spit them up. It's either the better notes or So 
or delete loose. Yeah, delete loose will get rid of the stray vertices like that. Uh, vertices without any edges, you can delete using a delete loose. But we can also separate loose part. This is what I want. I want to do. I'm gonna separate all those uh, lines anyway, and I get a clean line that way. Uh, actually, I still get a stray vertices, so. Maybe I should use the uh, delete loose after all. There you go, it's much cleaner now. <clears throat> the cool thing about this is uh, going back in your nodes, you can actually play around with uh, these numbers. You can have more, you have more or less up to you. Uh, for now we keep it small numbers so it's a little bit faster. Randomize the noise. 493, 494, whichever you like. <coughs> and to make it more like handwriting now we just need to add more noise. Um, basically um, I'm gonna use the adaptive edges and I'm gonna replace the edges with a random scribble like this, you know. Uh, let's turn off the fill. So if we replace all the edges with this, or kind of resembling, resemble all the edges, you know, resemble is meaning a single edges usually contains two vertices. If we resemble it, we can have multiple vertices. Yeah, that's what I will do. Um, adaptive edges. This is just a quick way to do it. There must be a um, other way that's more more efficient. But this is kind of nice. Um, just gonna provide a line. This line and edges. Now we actually replacing each of the edges from previous uh, setup we have with a line and we can have more or less line and then more or less <coughs> kind of like resembling the lines and cool <coughs> by this stage you know you have all these um, let me check if I bake it what, what did I get if I bake it it's a I have this uh, bunch of lines and and this means I think we can randomize it here um, whether you use vector or just a randomized input vertices whichever you <coughs> whichever you find uh, easier or you can now randomize it. So it's now looking like a scribble of handwriting. Although it's really pretty bad one like a doctor might have. I'm pretty sure that this can be improved further. That's a <coughs> currently it's just a you know random. It's just like a handwriting like this, but real handwriting might have something that's a Especially when it's cursive, it goes like that. I don't know if it's a if it's a Chinese writing or Arabic. How, I don't know how to do Arabic. Korean Korean writing is actually made of four. Yeah, I don't know all kind of uh, handwriting that you can think of. Currently, it's just like a scribble. Um, randomize in Z in the X. Still not, not too interesting. Maybe <coughs> if we randomize it in a using noise, maybe that's more interesting. I'm gonna save it. Um, I will save this setup um, as a git at some point. So you can randomize the seed. Let's use a noise again. Vector, vector noise, 
plug this in there and we're gonna use vector math vector math plug this here. I'm adding the noise into the original vertices so it's um this is kind of like a wiggle in um, animation nodes vector mass and if you want the wiggle to move you need to push it again so that's a noise the noise running through our lines um, here it's more interesting because we're getting that kind of swiggle I kind of like this uh, this is not bad now to control the noise, actually my normally what I did is to use vector mass and scalar, multiply by scalar. Okay, it looks like it's gonna crash. No, it's not crashing, good float. Oh, actually, uh, that's kind of controlling that. No, that's wrong. You want to put the scalar here maybe vector map plug in scalar multiply by scalar there float uh, yeah that's kind of controlling the the noise you can see you can see there was it was like normal and then more noise and then you get that kind of like a turbulence and then you have swiggle there. Now this looks like a crazy person's handwriting, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, you can have more or less of the text, so I'll make it more, more writing. You know, crazy person handwriting, or maybe if you if you use a snail and us or cricket. To make a poem that's uh, what you get or ask a monkey to make a, a poem okay you have this swiggle and uh, squiggle is I guess swiggle is fine but then you just need to finalize this because it's, we kind of pretty much done if we bake it we have this uh, squiggle of lines that you can I don't know it's, uh, it's pretty cool kind of like hair of dogs as well you can use Dimash MK2 and this will really create uh, proper lines like uh, for rendering hide the viewer now we have lines if you want them as a single object turn on merge now they are a single object and once we have that I um, here's I'll show you another a more technique as well if you want to make it smooth you can use uh, there are a couple of ways one of them is of course subdivision surface increase it and or you can use smooth actually don't use subdivision uh, you can use smooth whether it's Laplacian smooth or smooth like that you can we can repeat the smooth a couple of times but it tends to make the lines kind of becoming short um, some lines actually I think some of the lines should be a single object so I have to remove doubles here just switch to edit mode and then select go to vertices selection and remove double okay now it's a uh, now it's more correct and I can subdivide and then smooth it a couple of times now it's smoother And I'll sh also show to you that we can actually render edges in Blender, but the proper way is to make it turn it into a real, like a 3D object. And we can use Skin Modifier for that. Skin Modifier has improved a lot. It's become so fast now. Um, that's I think it's really amazing. <coughs> Currently, the of course by default it will only generate this a uh, a single edges, um, like a single single pipe for one edges if you want it for every edges you go to oops edit mode select all 
tap A, select all, and then mark root. Now it's marking the root for every single edges. At this stage, you can turn every edges into armature and then kind of animate the armature. That's a I have not tried that, but it's, that might be something you want to try. But you also can um, now they are all mesh uh, and they kind of tick, make it more. Yeah, you can do it like this, or another way is, uh, of course, you can um, turn this into edges, convert into curve. Now they are curve and curve in Blender. There are two types of curve: 2D and 2 2D and 3D. Both of them can be uh, interesting to play with. But with a with a curve, you can easily extrude the curve, so you get like a ribbon. So that's another way you can turn this into like a real mesh. You can offset the curve as well. Um, and if you want to do more, you can turn this into soft body. Somehow, soft body works for curve in Blender. Turn it into soft body and then app apply some force, and you get more interesting result. And let's try a rendering this out. I have shadeless on and let's render. Yeah, so I guess this is pretty much uh, kind of a result that I want. Currently, the ribbon of the curves give like a thickness, thick and, but it's not yet. It's not like a hand writing yet. It's not like a brush kind of writing when it's thick. It's not like ink kind of writing. I kind of want to emulate that with the mesh. Of course, this one is too also too too equal. Maybe I can smooth it. I just I just hit a control control three. It's a lot of subdivision. Shade smooth. What is it? I still have skin modifier. That's why it's slow. Kind of thinking for a way we can kind of emulate a, a brush stroke with a with a grease pencil actually um, grease pencil can simulate kind of calligraphy and things like that. Let me find it. Pencil ink, crayon. Okay, crayon ink. Ink is kind of uh, the effects that. Uh, we like to simulate in CG um, randomness. Iteration, so it can do. Um, I think it doesn't work because I'm not using a. Uh, okay, ink noise, ink noise, kind of doing it. So I'm not using the Wacom and. It's the result is gonna be looking more interesting with a Wacom because you have pressure sensitivity. Kind of wanna to emulate this kind of effects using spray chalk. Uh, but anyway, that's a uh, that's pretty much how I would approach uh, like a scribble handwriting. You can definitely improve on this setup. I did it a couple of time and I get different result every time um, for example I have this edge gibber so it's more looking it's looking more like this this is more interesting also um, I'm using random here I didn't use noise what I found is uh, sometimes you can go crazy like that and then you bake it out Um, you bake this and then you join it and you smooth it just use the smooth and then 
do it a couple of times and now you have you know smoother kind of scribbles <coughs> so there's a um, unlimited way you can do this um, I think give it a try and I wanna see what you came up with uh, hopefully this is uh, useful for you thanks again for tuning in to Blender Sushi channel um, please subscribe if you haven't and I will make more video like this and